namaste everyone so in the exercise 2 <clears throat> that we are doing presently the self is observing the body that is the consciousness is observing the material and in this process in step 1 we try to identify these two realities the self and the body as two distinct entities so we are able to see that i can make out the self through the activities of the self and i can make out the body through the sensation that i receive from the body in step 2 we observe the exchange that is taking place between me and the body i am sending instructions to the body and i am receiving sensations from the body and there is no material exchange in this process it's only exchange of information at step 3 we observe that it is me who is taking the decision in this exchange of information so i am deciding what to instruct and what not to instruct to the body and i am deciding what to read and what not to read in terms of sensation from the body so i am the decision maker here not the body and for this we observe all kinds of activities that we do in coexistence with the body and try to see our role there at step four we observe the sensation and try to make out whether this sensation is there in me or it's away from me whether i am the sensation i'm a part of the sensation the sensation is a part of mine or i am at a distance from the sensation and through some observation we could see that i am at a distance from sensation and by this, you could also make out that I am at a distance from the body. Now, in step five, we are trying to see how we associate the meaning to the sensation. So, we could see that there are three kinds of sensation that I receive from the body. One is through the behavior of the other, which is outside the body, and there is some effect on the body, and then sensation is produced in the body and i read that sensation the second is the physiochemical changes happening outside the body for that also i'm receiving the sensation from the body and the third is the changes that are taking place in the body and i'm receiving sensation for that also and we try to see how we associate meaning to any of these sensations in fact there's a lot more to observe here the more time we allocate for this we'll see that there's a lot more to observe here in terms of the association that we make with any information that I get from the body. So, for example, if you take the case of a behavior of the other person, the other person says something for a few seconds, the words fall in my ears, and then I receive that sensation through my decision, whether I have to read or not, that is to say, whether I have to listen to the other or not is also my decision. Once I listen to the other, then it means that I receive the sensation from the body through the behavior of the other. And then I don't get directly influenced by it. I associate some meaning to it. Okay. And that is based on my sanskar. My sanskar, my deep acceptances, my conditionings, or my level of understanding, or my inclination towards sensation for happiness, all this. And this is something to be observed here. Okay. So if my sanskar is based on right understanding, it would be one case. If it is based on assumption, it would be another case. Now, this is something similar to what we had been doing at step five of exercise one, whether when we are trying to observe the basis of decision making, whether it is right understanding or assumption, if you remember in step five of exercise one. So in fact, this exercise one that we did will now get in conjunction with this exercise two. And essentially, we all have to work on our sanskar. We all have to work on our sanskar. We have to see how uh, my sanskar may not be based on right understanding. And then you can also see that essentially, I become happy or unhappy based on my sanskar, isn't it? So it's not the words of the other which make me unhappy. It's essentially the meaning that I associate. This is something that we observe, observe uh, closely in step six. Now, looking at the three kinds of sensation, essentially there are two kinds. If you see something inside the body and something outside the body. 
Now, whatever is happening outside could either be the behavior of other human being, or it could be some physiochemical changes. And then it has an effect on the body, which causes sensation in the body. I decisively read and taste the sensation, and then I associate meaning to the sensation in conjunction with my sanskar, which may be based on knowing or just on assuming. And then if you see something which is highlighted here, I'm influenced or not influenced, and then I decide my feeling, which may be right or wrong, and then I feel happy or unhappy. So you can see that the way I associate meaning to the sensation that I receive, okay, that causes happiness or unhappiness in me. For example, if somebody is using a foul word for me, okay, and I'm able to see that this person is unhappy, this person is ang angry with me, and that's how he or she is using this foul word for me, okay. And the other person requires some solace, some comfort. And that's how this situation can be resolved. Is it, or her intention is not wrong. It's only that present state is not very comfortable for him or her. Then I'll have one kind of state within me. Otherwise, if I assume that the other person wants to make me unhappy, wants to insult me, then my state will be something else. And based on this, I either react or respond. So if my assumption based sanskar is there, the sanskar is based on assumption, I react. And if I have the right understanding, right feeling at that moment with respect to that particular incident, then I respond. So if I decide to express outside, I instruct my body. If I do not decide to express outside, I do not instruct my body. And then the body acts according to my instructions. So many times somebody is saying something, I just listen to the other, decide something within me that this is not the right time to talk to the other. Okay, or there is no use saying something here. Then I don't express outside. But if I decide that yes, expression is required, okay, then I express outside. I hope you have been able to observe this. If there's any question pertaining to this, please let me know. Observe it in your day-to-day -day life. Observe in your thoughts from moment to moment. And you will see how we might be reacting inside or uh, responding inside. And how we might be reacting outside or responding outside. And this is our present state. Most of the time, we are perturbed by the behavior of the other. And we are part of because of our own sanskar. So try to look into the basis of association of meaning to any kind of sensation that we receive from the other. Now, the third kind of sensation that we're talking about, there is, there is some event inside the body. And then there is sensation in the body. And the same sequence is followed here. And if necessary, there is some expression outside. If not necessary, there is no expression outside. In our past, we have not uh, used our natural acceptance or uh, right, uh, used our uh, right understanding to analyze the experiences. And because of that, we have formed the preconditioning in certain sense, right? Over the period of the time. G, G, that's true. So the informations I have been receiving, I have not been able to analyze them properly. And thus, I get conditioned to think in a particular manner. Mm. That human beings are like this only, nature is like this only, existence is like this only, family is like this only, society is like this only. And this way, we get conditioned in multi multiple ways. Yeah. Because we have to live in a day-to-day -day life and we have to take some decisions. And then there has to be some basis for those decisions. Correct. So initially we start off fresh. Yes. But then uh, if you are not able to understand whatever is happening inside and outside, then we make some kind of uh, rules for life. Yeah. And then we go by that. 
and they are probably helpful at certain situations or has helped us in certain situations but they are not generic rules or right understanding in that sense yes. so in other situations they are counterproductive maybe yes. counterproductive yeah. yeah some thumb rules are there okay yeah. and with those thumb rules we get some help also on many occasion that's how they get deeply stated in us that yeah. this is to be done if we want to uh, investigate into our preconditioning in generally because it is affecting deeply our current decisions and reactions and association of feelings so what should be the process to uh, unravel this preconditioning and see uh, apart I mean, apart from currently observing what where is happening is there anything which we can do <laughs> see in fact one important thing to note is i i can evaluate if i am aware of value okay so to be able to evaluate my preconditioning i need to contemplate on the value okay and bhaiya yeah. contemplation is basically referring to natural acceptance in the situation right and contemplation also contemplation is an activity of the self activity of the self yeah, yeah. but referring to natural acceptance that is contemplation that is an effort to contemplate not exactly contemplation it's not complete contemplation yeah no contemplation means when i am able to see my participation as it is okay so that's the that ability of part. seeing so that is ability of seeing which will refine by doing exercise one exercise two probably yeah so this may this is one of the way that we have been saying not the only way but yes this will help us contemplate on our participation so when we are asking what is the basis of this association of meaning to the information that i receive from the body is it right understanding or some assumption so there we try to contemplate how can i categorize this as right understanding or this as assumption this is something that we had been doing in step 5 of exercise 1 also yes okay thank you bhaiya ji and the way we are associating meaning if you look at these two sides that is very important okay and you will see that for this uh, i need to think broadly i need to look into every aspect uh, of the situation okay and then only we are able to associate the right meaning it cannot be just in terms of some uh, mutual relationship we have to look at the whole order also okay and yes so the meaning that i associate is right only when i am able to look at it in a holistic manner yeah ji a pain is so no, uh, not so frequent so we do not get uh, an opportunity to uh, verify it um, uh, or and enhance our acceptance or endurance whichever is uh, like possible one is the body getting con- condition because of the physiochemical things happening outside this is possible at the same time the body has a certain order the body has certain functions taking place and they need to keep on running smoothly for example if my hands get cut or if my you know, certain part of the body gets cut then bleeding will take place and that will cause low bp in my body and that will also cause so many changes in my body it's not that i can get accustomed to this bleeding part every moment <laughs> bleed the body is bleeding i cannot get accustomed to this even the body cannot get accustomed so with the systems of the body functioning properly the body can can get accustomed to the physiochemical changes happening outside this is possible we'll observe for 10 minutes so how we associate this meaning so reading or not reading a sensation is my decision associating the meaning to the sensation it again depends on my sanskar 
and based on this meaning given to the sensation i get influenced or not yeah? this is the way it happens and this again all this depends on my sanskar so observe this role observe how i read the sensation i associate meaning the, to the sensation and i react or respond okay i decide my feeling so observe this we'll observe this for the next 10 minutes and then we'll come back to the discussion part for example bhaiya um, i used to arrange dresses and things at home but my husband used to mess it up so previously i was thinking he is doing purposely to hurt me now i am able to overcome my assumption that is it is his less competence he has not used to arranging or putting things in the right manner so this i am able to clearly see that i have giving i have given that assumption that he is purposely doing to hurt me so now this i am able to see bhaiya and thereby i am not uh, reacting and as an effect of it our relation has drastically improved so that is one part of the question my second question bhaiya now i have understood simply that only because his of his less competence he is missing missing it up but whether he, is it right understanding bhaiya i am no i am sure it is not understanding but what actually is right understanding in this particular situation bhaiya so right understanding would be that mm. i am able to see that the intention of the other person is sound mm. but the self is not so developed <clears throat> mm. Mm. so i have to develop the self so i have to decide my role with the self of the other mm. so that i am able to contemplate on my role i am able to uh, participate in developing the competence of the other mm. Mm. So at this stage, I have uh, crossed one step. Yes, yes. Earlier, you associated some meaning mm. with the behavior of your spouse. Now mm. this meaning has changed. Mm. But this change is not permanent. Mm. Because it is again based on some analysis. Mm. Mm. The understanding part may be due. Mm. So this will not sustain for a long time. Mm. Mm. Ji. So, so I'm in between. Mm. Yeah. So you are in that process. We are all in that process, isn't mm. it? Ji so we are making an effort to contemplate, to understand, to realize, and for that we are uh, working in our imagination, trying to resolve ourselves, trying to analyze, image, the proposal, and with that we are progressing. Mm, 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 mm. So the situation will be improving, but it mm. will, you know, forever improve forever only when in situation inside, not outside. I'm saying. Yes, Bhaiya. It will improve forever when only when I'm active in the block B one. Mm. Otherwise, there will be some analysis, some comparing involved there, and the change mm. may not be continuous. And the assignment for today would be the same because there is a lot more to explore here. Uh, kindly keep on observing and exploring. We'll put up the assignment in the group also. So, sabi ko namaste.